Hi Steve, just a very quick uh, update. Uh, as you can see, I've got a wee bit more track, pushed the boat out, got some more points. Um, I think last time I had a, a crossover here. Um, but <laughs> Uh, that was no good, didn't work out. So anyway, what I've done is I've got all my available track and just bolted it together, no planning whatsoever. I didn't even draw the layout. I just bolted it all together and got a couple of loops and a couple of sidings with a, a few wee bitties left over. I've got a cross over there and a, another point, a couple of wee, wee bitties. A good point, uh, <laughs> excuse the pun, um, points. Uh, if you're buying second-hand points and you get a short point, you're going to need one of these little things with a wee cutout. Um, otherwise, the, the tracks won't fit. You'll see there, that's the wee cutout there. And of course, if you try and uh, snap on a normal bit of track, it won't fit. So <laughs> just make sure you get some of these short lengths with that wee cutout. Um, they're not expensive. I've got a job lot of them. But anyway... So that's my outside loop, which is the V5 loop, which is quite, a, a, it's about as tight as radius as I want to go. But inside is that CV1, I think they call it, the, the compact loop. And as you see, it's quite quite a tight turn. So on the inside track, I'll be running my wee uh, shunter and the wee short goods wagons. Uh, where did I put the goods wagons? Oh. There they are, there. they're all nice and short, they should run on that uh, quite nicely. So that's it, and as I say, there's a, a bit over there that's not completed. Um, on this line, uh, the loop will come round, it can carry on the loop, or it can take that point, uh, curve round, I haven't got the curves yet, and join that track to the station, and then join the main loop again. But as I see, I'm short, I need a couple more compact curves, to make that, and then uh, maybe a siding down here or something. But anyway, the whole point of this was to let you see, da -da -da -da, look at that beauty, that's your five car DMU, and a cracker, and I can't remember which car the motor's in, I think it might be this one, not sure, <laughs> but anyway, let's have a go. Sorry about the shaky can, but uh, anyway, here she comes. Yeah, not good. And you'll see it's going round amazingly that tight curve. The cool is that. Got my hand shaking, getting old. Right, uh, I'll keep this short. Um, so anyway, that's it going fairly slow. But... It's a wee bit noisy, but uh, not... <laughs> uh, it's about the same amount of noise as my Class 25. Uh, a wee bit noisier than tricks. But then, there we go. And, what you see this, a wee demo here. Whoa! It can move. It goes that fast, it'll fly off the track. Thing of beauty. Haha. <laughs> There we go, and back she comes. I, I don't know if you can hear it, you can maybe just hear it slow down on the curves a wee bit. And then speed up on the straight. But you have a better radius than mine. Um, so you'll not suffer from that. The other wee thing is, um, I put traction tyres on it and it ran horribly. Um, I took one of them off so you can you can get a wee bit of minor wheel spin 
and if I suddenly accelerate, you can hear that wheel spin. I did a wheelie. But um, I pulled all my rolling stock, I bolted onto it, the whole lot of it, and it, it still pulled it round, even with a traction tyre down. So I'll put up with a wee bit of wheel spin for smoother running. There was no jerkiness there. And park her up at the station. There we go. So that's your that's your DMU dude. And uh, I've I've got a box of stuff to send you down for all your uh, your electricity and bits and pieces and whatnot. And of course your uh, uh, <coughs> your sleeper uh, coat. Well, it's not a sleeper coach. It's part one of the passenger coaches off the the sleeper express cracker. Love that. Anyway, that's it, dude. As I say, quick and dirty vid, and uh, uh, I've just a wee bit of fettling to do on your DMU, uh, just to make sure I'm happy with it, um, and then I'll send it all down, so you should be getting all this stuff in the next week. Okay, ta-ra!